Welcome to Mother Cluckers. My name is Debbie, and today I'm going to talk about how roosters have different calls for different predators. Roosters have evolved to use different calls for various predators to enhance the safety and survival of their flock. This ability to distinguish between types of threats and communicate specific information has developed over generations through natural selection. Here's a more detailed explanation. Birds of prey, such as hawks and eagles, often attack from above. When a rooster spots one, he emits a distinct, sharp, and repetitive call. This sound is designed to be short and urgent, prompting hens to immediately seek cover under nearby bushes, coops, or other shelters. By signaling the presence of a flying predator, roosters ensure that the flock remains out of sight and less vulnerable to attacks from above. Predators that attack from the ground like foxes, raccoons, and snakes require a different response. For these threats, roosters use a louder, deeper, and more continuous call. This sound can alert the flock to move away from the approaching danger, regroup, or head to a safe area where they can evade the predator. In some cases, the call might also signal the rooster to confront or distract the predator, buying time for the hens to escape. Roosters have developed different vocal patterns for various situations because the survival tactics needed for aerial and ground predators are not the same. For example, a hawk's swift aerial dive requires immediate hiding, while a ground-based threat might demand the flock to scatter or flee in a specific direction. The more specific the alarm, the better the chances of the hens responding appropriately. Over time, roosters that could clearly and accurately signal different types of threats had a better chance of protecting their flock. This, in turn, led to higher survival rates for both the rooster and the hens, ensuring the continuation of these protective behaviors. Over generations, this has become an innate skill, allowing even young or inexperienced roosters to instinctively respond to potential threats. If the hens are already sheltered or under cover, the rooster may not sound an alarm for an aerial predator, but will make noise if a ground threat approaches. This situational awareness prevents unnecessary stress and panic in the flock and ensures that the alarm system works optimally only when it's truly needed. The different predator calls reinforce the rooster's leadership role. By accurately warning the flock, the rooster not only protects them but also maintains his position of authority and trust within the group. The flock's safety directly depends on the rooster's ability to distinguish between threats and the rooster's success in protecting the group strengthens his role as the dominant protector. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.